Hello everyone, John Waffle H2P here, and today I'm going to review the Louisville versus Pitt game coming up on Saturday. As you guys probably already tell by the title of the video, but it's just a habit to say. But moving on. Um, so based on some of the things, it looks like there have been some changes with the quarterback position, like I mentioned during the bye week, which um, is positive to a certain extent expect aspect but at the end of the day guys we are one and five and louisville is six and oh and they are up there as one of the only undefeated teams of the season blah 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 all this stuff and of course they came off a big victory against the fighting irish last saturday but looking at their team, I mean, no offense to them, and I shouldn't be saying this. Yes, I know. Oh, I'm just talk. I sh I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I don't think Louisville is gonna go anywhere. I think they just need to get upset somewhere. And if we play good, and if our defense, I mean, I know a lot of people get mad at me because I don't attack the defense that much. But at the end of the day, they're a young. They're young, and it's you can't really blame that. I mean, you have to be the next man up. You can't – I mean, that is the thing that needs to work, but it's the offense that has really killed this team. I don't want to hear me just blaming the defense all the time because it's on Jerkovic. It's – I mean, and hope – and luckily he's benched. I don't think he's going to be a tight end. He doesn't really deserve to be on the team, if I'm being honest with you. Um, so hopefully we don't see him again, and it's most likely Christian Vilex. But there, sorry. But um, going into this game, like I said, Louisville six and zero. They're already going to a bowl. Uh, we're one in five, and it's the tale of two teams here. Um, Louisville's coach. Let me get the name up. Um, first year head coach. Jeff Brom from uh, Purdue last year, who got them to a Big Ten title game, uh, is kicking ass at Louisville. Uh, he really is. And now I see why they really wanted to get uh, Scatterfield out of there because, I mean, he's all right. He kicked – he he has our number, but, I mean, in general, he's pretty overrated. But Jeff Brom, yeah, he it's his first year. He seems – to be a pretty good coach. Um, this is his alma mater, of course, uh, hometown. And I think he's going to really try. He's not a pushover. I think he's a little head of, a little head of Narduzzi because so far he really hasn't had any problems at Louisville yet. Um, and they kicked Notre Dame's ass. If you want to say they're overrated or not, I mean, they kicked the top teams, the top 10 football teams ass. No, no pun intended. And that's literally what they did. And yes, Notre Dame didn't play well last week. But at the same time, uh, they have motivation. They have everything under their feet. And we're coming off a bye week in one of the worst football uh, seasons in some time from, from the Pack Panthers. So I think we could get Louisville. I think we can win this game. Yes, I think we can win this game if we play great, if our defense, and yes, here I'll say our defense needs to start being elite. We need to start getting that rookie phase out. I mean, that's the thing that got us, but we can't all rely on defense. Like we did that in 2021. So it's the offense. The offense is going to win us the games this year. Our defense is not going to be great. I, let's be honest. It's just not. Our offense could be solid if we have the playmakers involved, if we have the right quarterback. And this is Christian Vayek's time to shine. Um, I believe that's who, who the quarterback's going to be. If I'm not, uh, not Yarnell, it's his time to shine. But I believe it's Christian. I believe it is Christian. Don't pun me. I, I mean, he is the future of this program. A lot of people don't like that uh, because of one game that he was not prepared for, by the way, against North Carolina. And yes, I'm defending him because, I mean, why not? Honestly, he was not prepared at all. Signetti failed him. And yes, Signetti, I mean, I don't care if we go undefeated at the end of the year. This, I mean, it will make us worse because it could have been what we could have done. We're not even going to get 10 wins. We're not going to be eligible for 10 wins if we even go undefeated. 
So, I mean, right now our goal is to get into a bowl game. Um, and it starts against Louisville. Let's see if we can fix the season, turn it around. Um, I know I've been hard on, on Narduzzi. I know he's not going anywhere. I know I'm, I'm, I'm getting clowned for that. But Signetti needs to go. I don't want to hear, oh, it's the receivers coach. Well, they all need to go. The offense is terrible. The whole offense needs to be dismantled. I mean, that's, but Signetti is the main point, po po the main po pointing, finger pointing at, at this time. So, yes, that's all I have to say. Vocal point. That's what I was trying to say. But I ramble too much. But look on the, on the bright side. I'm glad to see we're having some time of re some type of reboot. Um, Virginia Tech embarrassing. Honestly, I was just hoping we would lose because I think it would just prove us more. But I know that's depressing and, and crappy. But honestly, we, we were just terrible since Cincinnati. And I mean, I want to see what we're made out of. I want to come back on Saturday and say we won the game handily. I want to say that, but I don't know if that's going to happen. It, again, it's a top 25 Louisville team coming in, undefeated. They have a lot in front of them. They have a new enthusiastic head coach. Got to give Jeff Brom credit. He totally outcoached Freeman on Saturday. And, I mean, it's going to be hard test. It's going to be a Saturday night game, hard test, at, and it's at Alakershire Stadium. But at the same time, it's they're coming into the 412, and we need to show that you don't come in here and expect an easy win. And we should never really give our opponent that chance. We never should give that oppo our opponent that chance. I don't care if we're terrible. I don't care what it is. We did it against Miami. We can do it against the top 25 Louisville team. And yes, I'm saying let's play the upset game like we have been doing. But that's where we are at this point. And that's probably how we can motivate this team. So that's all I'll have to say. We just need to play the greatest game. Our defense, yes, needs to play better. But our main focal point is the offense. What is Bear going to look like as quarterback? I, I, we're, I, if we see the same crap that we have seen from Jerkovic and Slovis, it's not going to go anywhere. And it just proves that the offense is not a disaster. And yes, it is the offensive coordinator. And that's what I'll say for this video. So that being said, guys, I mean, that's all I really have to say. Um, I hope we win. I'm very optimistic about this. I'm not happy about this. I think the season's a loss. If I, I'm, I, obviously it is, but I'm still going to be on here making preview videos. I'm not going to go anywhere. I may not do a post-game rant because it's a waste of my time for that, but I'll be previewing the season. I hope to keep previewing. I mean, I know I'll keep previewing the season, but I hope to keep doing, maybe giving afterthoughts. Maybe I can come on here and say, it was a great win on Saturday, and that's what I hope I can do. So that being said, guys, like, stay tuned, share this video, subscribe. And as always, guys, I know it's trash right now, but hail to pit.